Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're going to review another keto granola. And we will try this tasty treat right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos. We do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload, upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So today we're going to review another breakfast option. This is a granola, a keto nut granola from a company called Low Carb with a K. Yeah, of course, because it's keto with a K. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot. I mean, we say the word another, but I'm actually really excited that more and more of these companies are entering the marketplace with the keto community in mind. Yep. And um, because there's so many, I like the fact that we have a chance to kind of review it and tell you, like, what's the best deal? Is it tasty? Before you go out and purchase it yourself. Yeah, because a lot of the products that are on the open market, like if you go to the store, the granolas, I always liked granola. The problem with them is they usually have chocolate chips in them. They usually have loads of sugar. And the base of granola is really good keto stuff. Things like nuts and stuff like that. It's funny. Anything that has to do with like camping and hiking, those those like trail treats are not created equally, right? right? Like you can get beef jerky and there is such a range of what beef jerky is. And it's the same with granola. Yeah. So like, you know, just because someone says granola, like, it's kind of like when someone says learning toy, you know, that that spectrum is is huge, right? right? What you consider to be like a granola, a good, healthy granola. I mean, you're thinking, wow, this is going to help me keep fit. But with a lot of junk in it, it's not going to help you. Yeah. So this company, Low Carb, actually reached out to us on Instagram. So we did not pay for that. I no. just want to uh, fully disclose we didn't pay for this. But they asked if we'd be interested in reviewing it. And he sent me a screenshot of the ingredient label. And I was really excited because, I mean, these are some of the cleanest ingredients that I've seen in any of the keto granolas out there. So yeah. let's go over the nutrition. Uh, first, like I said, it's low carb keto granola. Uh, this is the cinnamon almond pecan flavor. They actually have a couple different flavors, which we'll go over in a minute. Nice. Uh, on the back, it says great for keto, diabetic, paleo, low carb, and then LCHF diets, which is low carb, high fat diets. Okay, so it says for low carb keto diet, add almond milk or coconut milk to nut granola. For regular use, you can add milk and enjoy as a healthy breakfast cereal. And it says other great ways to enjoy it. Enjoy it as a snack right out of the bag, which is what we would normally do. Absolutely. Add some fruits and berries. Soak for 30 minutes in yogurt and then enjoy as a nut musel. Nice. So I like that. Yeah. So they have why is low carb better? It says as past ketogenic dieters, we understand how hard it is to find a fulfilling, nutritious breakfast. That's why we created low carb uh, with the goal to create products that give you all of the deliciousness while keeping you rocking on your low carb diet. Yeah, so. because there, I mean, there is a big need for like diversity in breakfast. Yes. That we're so used to only eating eggs and bacon and maybe a keto waffle or keto pancakes or something like that. So it's nice to have some options. Yeah. Okay, so let's go over the ingredients in this. Sliced almonds, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, coconut chips, which is made with coconut and sodium. What is that? Metabisulfite. That's a preservative. Pecans, erythritol, monk fruit extract, butter, which is made with cream and natural flavor, and cinnamon. Those are the ingredients. I love that, like, you don't even get into the sweetener until, like, line it's number three. It's very at the bottom. And again, the natural flavor is coming in the butter. Yeah. So it does say it contains tree nuts and milk. Allergy warning is processed in a facility that handles peanuts, soy, milk, wheat, tree nuts, and eggs. I mean, obviously, if you've got a nut allergy. Yep. So a serving size of this is a third of a cup or 34.5 grams, and there's 190 calories per serving, 18 grams of total fat, 5 grams of protein, 10 total carbohydrates, okay. 4 grams of fiber, 4 grams of sugar alcohol, making it 2 net carbs per serving. That is nice. And I love the fact that a uh, 
a regular total carb is only 10 total carbs. Well, and the thing is, is that by not having a bunch of peanuts in here, you're helping to keep the carbs down. They're using like some really like, you know, keto friendly nuts and seeds. Right. So look, before we get into, I got my laptop over here before we get into actually tasting it. They have three different flavors. I'm using my laptop like an iPad and trying to scroll with my finger. <laughs> okay, so we have um, a cocoa one. We have a plain one, which is this one. Right. Okay, which is cinnamon, almond, pecan. And then we have one with blueberries. Blueberry. Now, there's something that I've been looking for. And now, just curious. Let's click on that, even though we're taking some time. Let's just, I want to see if we can see on here what the blueberry is if it's an actual blueberry or if it is a Where lab is the nutrition blueberry. label the nutrition dehydrated blueberries in your blueberry yes. one so okay okay so real quick prices two bags 25 dollars of either any of the flavors or you can get three bags where it's one of each flavor for $35. We're not affiliated with them, but I did tell them that we wouldn't do a review unless they offered some kind of a coupon code for like our subscribers. Uh, so the coupon code is 2 Crazy Ketos 10 Okay. That gets you 10% off um, if you buy it directly from their website, and there's a link down below. And that's including the bundle, the three pack. Yeah, he just said it's 10% off. So. All right, so that's an additional savings. I like yeah. that. Okay, so you ready? We've got our scale here with a bowl. I definitely think you want to weigh it out. I We always like weighing it out because, you know the what, cup, what's a third of a cup? Yeah. You know, you could easily... I'm a mounder. I never tear it right across the tear. I always tear too low. And then you rip the Ziploc. And then it's open. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Can I smell? Smells amazing. Wow, that is cinnamon. Amazing. Very okay. cinnamony. So let's make, what do we say? 34.5 grams? For itself. We're gonna... Actually, it's like that honey type of cinnamon smell. Yes. It's a nice little bit. Oh, that's a little bit too much. There's 30, 34 grams. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, so let's see if we can get this to focus. So that is. Oops, Oh, as we're spilling it, that's a serving. And it is little pieces. It's not like big chunks. But that's going to work good as a cereal. Yeah. Are you ready? There is a nice little, look at it. Look at that little pecan in there. Nice. Are you yeah, ready? you're definitely seeing what they're saying. Yeah, so there, it's it's granola. It's a small serving. I even remember pre keto, granola was always a small serving if you went by the serving size. The serving size. I'd probably, I'd, I would honestly just use this as a snack or putting it on top of. Ice cream. Ice cream. Of course, I'm going to tell you, even cereal is a small serving. Yes. If you eat it if by the serving the way, size. And not just keto, regular stuff. Everybody. But what I like about this as a snack is that it's little pieces. I'm playing with it, but it's like little pieces. So you, it'll great. last you a long time. Well, this would be great in a salad, too. Yes. You ready? Mm -hmm. So just grab a handful and... Wow. That is good. That has a really nice mouth feel. It's not going to break your teeth off. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. It's very like, nutty. It's nutty, nutty, but it's also very buttery. Yeah, it's very nutty. It's very buttery. The sunflower seeds really come through. And it's not um all stuck together and... No, I want another bite. Yeah, that is good. I'm going back in. Wow. That is really good. I don't know about it as a cereal, mm. but as a snack like this. You know what I would totally make you put this on top of? You know that like faux sweet potato pie recipe yes. that you have that um is made of pumpkin, made with pumpkin and, cauliflower. and cauliflower? It's so good because this tastes very fall-like, very right. pumpkin spice taste. Put that on top. Oh my goodness. I'm actually thinking about that right now. Yeah. yeah that, that actually wasn't my recipe. That was a Keto Connect recipe. Oh, and that was really good. good. It tasted just like sweet potato, mashed sweet potato that you'd have at Thanksgiving. They nailed it. And they nailed it. But instead of, yeah, putting that pecan topping on it, putting this on top. Because you have a, all different kinds of nice buttery Yeah. Now, it's not 
overly sweet either. There's a hint of sweetness, but it's not super sweet. It's nope. not like eating a kid's sweetened cereal. It's oh, no. It's just a little hint of sweetness. This is tasty. So you want to do our five things review? Five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We talk about the ingredients, does it keto based on a nutrition label, how does it taste, how much does it cost, and finally, would we recommend it? So number one, the ingredients. The ingredients are great. A lot of these granola companies are really using integrity with their packaging packaging. They're not trying to put a bunch of junk in it and they know we're checking the ingredients. I really, really like the ingredients on this because there is nothing in here except for nuts, seeds, a little bit of sweetener for the erythritol and the monk fruit, but there is no like preservative agents other than whatever is actually in with the coconut chips. There's no like sunflower lecithin. There's none of that stuff is no. added in here to sweeten it up, to make it cake more or anything like that. No. So this is like really, really, really clean ingredients. Yeah. So number two, does it keto based on the nutrition label? I would say so. Yeah, it definitely does. But you know, when it comes to anything regarding a nut, you're going to have to do portion control. Yeah. Like you're going to have to be on top of that. Yeah. We're looking at 190 calories, um, 18 grams of fat. You've got five grams of protein, 10 total carbohydrates, which even if you're a total carb person, that is not bad. Because I mean, how many, we've stuck our hand in here two or three times a piece and there's a decent amount left yeah. in there. And we're doing like grabbing a right. whole bunch. We're not just grabbing we're like two or three We're super classy. Minutes. So uh, I think it's really good nutrition facts. Really good nutrition facts. Yeah. Okay. So number three, how does it taste? It is very tasty. I don't have some sort of like weird cooling effect. Yep. Um, it, it's it's very clean tasting. I like the fact that they haven't added a bunch of stuff to keep it all caked together and clumped yeah. together. So you don't if you're used to granola that has like big chunks in it. This one doesn't. These are like literally like individual pieces that have just been coated in some I like cinnamon and really stuff like that. I really love that. Yeah. Because I don't know. I mean, it it tastes very fresh. Yeah. Right. Now, it is a little different if you're used to like granolas, like a Stoker granola or the Stoker granola bars. It doesn't have that overly sweet taste when you would go to the store and buy granolas that have like chocolate chips or stuff like that. And this is a very nutty, seedy taste with a hint of sweetness. But I love it. And I think honestly, of all of the um, granolas that we've tried, I think this would cereal the best the, I, because it stays individual. See, I like the ch cereal chunky, but as far as flavor, I don't know, because you got the pumpkin seeds, but the smell, I, I can't stop smelling I, it. They need to make it a candle out of that. I mean, the smell, it really smells like a fresh bag of like a cinnamon granola. It's funny, like, how much of a difference it makes when there's not a lot of extra ingredients to make it last for 20 years. And yeah. I don't know, I love it. Yeah, and this bag actually is, does say right on here, um, is uh, April 15, 2020. That's gonna be your fresh by date, obviously. There it's is not an expiration zero date. chance that's lasting in this house that long. <laughs> So number four, how much does it cost? We did review, uh, we did talk about, let me open, unlock my computer. So again, it's $25 for two bags or 35 for three bags. So normally $12.50 a bag. Yep. Which is not so there's, out of line. So that would be what, $12.50 a bag. There's nine servings in this bag. So okay. what is that? I don't know, I don't have my calculator easily accessible on my computer. What is that, about a dollar twenty about a serving or something yeah, like that? Reasonable. I think that's pretty reasonable. So yep. uh, finally, number five, would we recommend this? I would definitely recommend this, but I'm telling you, you want this to not be like your only snack. I feel like, I mean, it's just for me, I'm a, I'm a portion person. Mm -hmm. So if you pour this out and like, this is your snack, Rachel, I feel like I'm going to be dissatisfied. Like I funny. want more. I think I'm the opposite because I'm somebody who loves bars, right? Bars are probably my biggest go-to snack, whether I'm on the road or if I'm at home at night and I'm just like, I just want a snack or I want something to top off my fat, I'll grab a bar. But I can eat that bar pretty quickly. Whereas if I poured out a serving of this, which is going to be about equal to a bar as far as calories, as far as fat, 
I can just sit here with just a couple pieces at a time and chew on it almost like popcorn. And yeah. it's going to last me longer. Well, for me, I'm going to use it as like in my salads. That's going to add a tremendous amount of flavor to yep. salads. Um, definitely going to top my ice cream in it. And I'll tell you what else. If I have a little bit of nut butter, I may use like, you know, half a serving or something. I would roll a little <laughs> glob of nut butter and top it with that and make a little peanut butter ball. That's a good idea. Well, that is our video for today. Again, they did give us a coupon code for you guys. We're not affiliates with them. Nope. Uh, the coupon code is 2 crazy ketos 10 I'll leave a link down below so you can get right to their website to use it. Mm -hmm. um, if you like what you saw today, do us a favor. Hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.